this is the Green Expert one-third horsepower submersible sump pump. Let's take a look at the specs on it and then we'll take it out of the box. Now I'm just going to give you the abridged version here. This is 115 volts, 60 hertz. It has automatic and manual mode, 2,000 gallon per hour maximum flow rate, 23 foot lift. So your hose can go up 23 feet and it will still pump. It'll handle up to 95 degree Fahrenheit liquids. It has a 25 foot cord and can start sucking water up as low as 1 25th of an inch. It's for clean water only. That doesn't mean if the water is discolored it's not going to work. That's perfectly fine. There just can't be solids in it. And typically you would use this to pump out say a flooded basement. Maybe a flat roof where water collects and isn't draining properly. You could put it up there as well. Uh, if you have a pool and you get water on top of the cover you can pump that out with it. Let's take it out of the box and show you what you get. In the box you get the instruction manual over here. The pump of course. You get a bunch of adapters, fittings and a check valve. So let's go over all of this here in depth. One and a half inch output here. This is threaded and your elbow piece will screw into that. Okay? Then you would typically use one of these three fittings. With this one here, this converts from one and a half inch down to three quarter inch. If you have a hose that you want to put on there with a clamp, you can put it on there. Or you can do one inch if you take a hacksaw to that and just chop that nipple piece off, you can screw onto these threads here. This one here is the one that most people are going to be using. This is the hose thread and this one here is the pipe thread. These are both three quarter inch. You'll see they fit together and they're the same size. But take note of the threads here. Finer thread, coarser thread. The coarser thread is for your garden hose and that's typically what most people are going to be using. Now, physics apply. Physics was that class that none of us did well in school, or maybe only a few of us. The pump outputs 2,000 gallons per hour. It's got a nice big opening here. When you convert that down to that, essentially you are strangling the pipe. Just if somebody had their hands around your neck strangling you, you wouldn't be able to breathe too well. Same thing applies here. So when you use a garden hose, which is the first thing you think of, because your basement's flooded, uh-oh, what do I do? Oh, great, I have this pump, I need a hose, I gotta get it out of here. What hose do you have? The garden hose, what else? Well, it's gonna work. It will work without any problem, but you're not getting anywhere near 2,000 gallons per hour. So we're not gonna talk about speed here because that is going to be completely dependent upon whatever size hose that you're going to use. You also have um, one inch fittings here that you could cut that off and put a hose on that with a clamp. So you can do one and a half inch, one inch, or three quarter inch. And again, you have the check valve over here so the water flows only in one direction and won't flow back. And the way that works, you see like that, as the pump pushes the water out because it sucks in from the bottom, it can go that way. When you have that column of water coming back, it's gonna slam this shut and prevent it from doing that. I have the pump turned around now, and we talked about automatic or manual mode. So basically, here's how it works. You have this sensor here. A lot of pumps have a float, and that works in certain circumstances, but that's not how this one works. This is actually quite better. If you want manual mode, you plug it in there. Simple like that. If you want automatic, you just pull it out. There we are. And this piece will fit in the different holes. This will pump water down to a five inch depth. In other words, when the water gets down to this level, the pump will stop within about 15 seconds. 
You can go to the lower level, that's three and a half inches. You can go to this level, which is two and a half inches. Or if you wanted to try to pump out as much as possible, you can take it out and park it just about like that. Just stand it up, and when the water gets down past the terminals on there, you'll only be left with this little bit there, and that's it. And then it will automatically shut off. You don't want to run these pumps dry. Now, not running them dry. That means that if you have it in manual mode, you're not going to plug this in and go out to eat and hope that the basement's going to be dry when you get home. Because if this runs out of water, you're going to burn it out. Now, if you're there and you hear it start sucking air and you're like, oh, okay, I got to shut that off and maybe you're upstairs because the basement is flooded, you got a minute or so to get down there to unplug it. It's not going to blow up right away. But you don't want to run the pumps dry is the point. So we're going to put this to the five inch level so I can demonstrate it for you uh, for the demonstration. And then of course I'll pump everything else out after that. To connect up, let me reposition here. So if you're going to be using the check valve, which it's recommended you do, but bear in mind you are limiting yourself down when you do that. But if you don't want it to flow back, that's going to be perfectly fine for our purposes. So you just take that, and it says, by the way, out on it right here. So that has to point out from the pump. So that is going to go in there just like that. Any old way doesn't matter which orientation, it's just fine. We'll get the elbow. We're going to screw that in. Right there will be great. And I'm going to be using, of course, a garden hose because that's what I have available. And that is going to screw on right over here. Tighten that up. And now the garden hose will screw on here. So now let's get this set up and we'll do a demonstration. I have this big garbage can that collects rain. A lot of people said, just drill a hole in the bottom. I said, well, then it's always going to leak stuff out. So every year, because I won't drill a hole in it, because I don't want it to leak for those events where it shouldn't, I leave it and I have to drain it. So this is perfect for it. The hole pump, like I said, is submersible. So we'll take that and we're going to put it in all the way down to the bottom. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I have the plug right here, and I'll show you the output. It has started, and it's pumping. So there you go. It's definitely working and doing its thing. The water in the can didn't look too hot, but it looks pretty clean coming out of the hose. But anyway, I'm going to let this drain out, and I'll show you what happens when it stops at that five inch mark. This is making very quick work of this, even just using a garden hose. The water had started, there's a line up here. That's the water line right over there. And it's been not only, you know, not even a minute really, probably just about a minute at this point, and it's going down. Once again, I have the sensor at the five inch mark. So once it hits that, in about 15 seconds, it's gonna shut off. We're just clearing the sensor now. And it shut off. Exactly like it's supposed to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reorient that sensor, put it in the rest of the water there, 
And there we are. Now, depending on, I have leaves in here, so that may trick the sensor. So I'll make sure that that's out of the water, and it should stop within about 15 seconds. You'll notice it is running dry now, but that's perfectly all right for a short period of time such as this. There it is. Perfect job. Earlier I mentioned how this would also be good for getting water off the top of a pool. Well, I have one of those, and I have a pump there. I can't tell you who made it, but it's synonymous with Little Big Person. And it's a nice pump. It works. It does the trick. You see I have the hose on it and it takes absolutely forever. So the phrase, color me impressed, comes to mind here. Actually, no worries. Now I'm green with envy. Puns are on the house, thanks. Once again, this was the Green Expert one-third horsepower submersible sump pump. I am quite impressed with it. It did a fine job. The water sensor, that's pretty nice. I, I must say that's really nice that it just has these contacts here that can sense the water like that and you have different levels there where you can just plug it in for full manual mode. It did a great job. It was super fast and again that was with the laws of physics applied and I was strangling this output to only three quarter inch. So if you actually were able to hook up one and a half inch to this you would be getting very very near that 2,000 gallons per hour. I was quite impressed with this and I highly recommend it. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.